I'm Sadie. I'm really pleased to welcome everybody today. Uh, we know there are a lot of ways that you can spend the better part of an hour, uh, especially during your workday. So we're really happy that you've chosen to spend this one with us. Our goal at, with Mortar, uh, we've been doing this working from home series uh, the past couple of weeks. And our goal is really just to share some of the useful and free tools that Mortar offers our users. Uh, there's, these are tools that are designed to help you in your day-to-day, -day, not just during this time when you're working from home, but um, even as you return to the office, which might happen someday at some point. Um, but these are things that you can take with you and tools you can be taking advantage of at any time. Really specifically with our, our subject today, we're going to be highlighting our partnership with BIM Objects. So we're extremely excited about this. Like Steve said, this is new. Um, we're really just uh, rolling this out. And we're really excited to show you what that looks like and how easily um, it can be to, you can take advantage of it. Uh, we're gonna show you how that partnership between Mortar and BIM Object lets you go from uh, finding the inspiration and the ideas on Mortar to actually downloading the technical data, the technical files that you need on BIM Object in just the matter of a few clicks. So before we dive into that, I do have, um, we have a few special guests with us on the webcast today. And I just want to take a second to introduce them. We're really lucky to have, um, we have Mark Fusco and Krista Bjork. They're both from Bison Innovative Products. They're on with us today. And if you're not familiar with Bison, um, they, are a, they offer some really cool and innovative solutions for raised decking. So they do, um, they make those pedestals that keep the, the um, provide that raised decking and keep them level. And then the beautiful wood tiles. And they also have some other products that we'll show you today. Um, and if, when I think of Bison, my mind immediately goes to all of those really cool and beautiful rooftop bars out there that we can't go to right now. <laughs> so if you close your eyes and go there in your mind and you think of that really cool decking that you're standing on and how it's is the seamless transition that you have and its level, that is brought to you by Bison. <laughs> um, so um, Mark, I think if you, are you there? Are you with me? I'm here. I'm, I'm definitely here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Great. <laughs> Uh, my name is Mark Fusco. I'm the sales manager with Bison. Uh, thank everybody for being on the call today. I really appreciate your time. Um, our primary mission is to give uh, architects, building owners, kind of a simple and cost-effective way to maximize uh, rooftop spaces. Um, our primary um, products are pedestals. We're primarily a pedestal company, but we also offer other products like wood tiles, uh, 2CM pavers, planters and benches. We also consider ourselves to be uh, somewhat of a service company. Uh, part of being a service company, um, to that extent, we have partnered with uh, Mortar and BIM Object to figure out ways to help our clients like you, um, because we, we really understand the importance of uh, giving you the correct information for your design, also for inspiration, technical documentation. Um, and we really like to stress the fact that we try to be with our customers from inception to completion. So we really want to help with you, you with on the design side, but then also really help on the back end with the contractors and the subcontractors to make sure that everything gets installed correctly. Um, and uh, mortar and BIM object are a very integral component of helping you with that. So I'll be here throughout uh, the presentation um, and also at the end uh, to answer any questions. And uh, just like to thank you again, really appreciate it. Awesome, thanks so much, Mark. Great, thank you, Mark. Yeah, so, right. Well, Sadie, I, I think we've got um, quite a good group here on the call already. And just wondering, for those that are not yet familiar with Mortar, um, would you be able to just walk, and maybe they're experiencing it for the first time, maybe they've had a slight introduction. Would you be able to walk through the, um, kind of our who, what, when, where, why, um, a, a little bit for them. Yep, sure. I will just do that real, real briefly. I'll give you a kind of the the brief once over of what mortar is. So we are a. Um, well, actually, can you see my screen, Jules? It's so weird when we're not in the same room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Someday we'll be back together. Yeah. <laughs> so I Looks pulled great. it up. I pulled it up here. So we're actually on mortar.com right now. So mortar is um, a digital platform. We have the website that we're looking at here. We also do have a mobile app uh, that was created really specifically for the commercial construction and design industry. So 
Our audience really includes anybody from the individuals and the companies who service this commercial industry. Um, so that might be, that would be your product manufacturers such as Bison. Um, we lovingly refer to our manufacturers as brands on Mortar, um, but we also include the architects, designers, um, the engineers, the contractors, all those various subcontractors who are part of these commercial projects coming together. We focus on those companies as well as the individuals who work for those companies. So um, that's part of, part of our overall audience and our target. And then in addition to that, Mortar also really focuses on the customers and um, the decision makers for those particular companies that they're serving. So your developers, your business owners, um, the facilities professionals, um, the people who are owning those projects and coming to you with those projects. So we develop Mortar as one single place, one single destination and resource for everyone in that commercial construction and design network to come together. Um, the people that are providing the services and the solutions, and then those who are seeking those services and solutions. So um, within Mortar, uh, companies are able to represent themselves with profiles that showcase the work that they do. Um, I use the term showcase because we're an image-based site. So we really want to show off like the finished, the finished version, the installed, the, you know, the, what you're looking at here actually in our banner image. This is really typical of Mortar. So we want to show off that, that work that, they're done, that they've done or the products that they contributed to that particular project. And then that helps them be found by our users, our audience, who again is just that targeted all commercial audience. Um, then just kind of turning to the, the individual's experience or that actual user's experience, as I mentioned, they can browse the site, they can search all the content out there, they can um, find everything that's being shared by those companies on Mortar. Uh, users, they can interact with the content that they find, they can contact those companies directly from the site, um, they can access resources, so um, such as that, you know, the technical resources that we're talk talking about, the BIM files today, um, specifications, even sampling for um, particular products that they're finding on the site. And um, then there's also some cool tools that we've built into their personal dashboards that they're able to use, um, like our design room feature. And I'll try to touch on that a little bit um, if we have time as we get into the site a little bit here. So. Um, all of that said, <laughs> pause and take a breath here, sorry. Um, we'll just jump into the site. So again, this is our homepage. When you come on, like I said, we're an image-based site. So we just, we try to really highlight re these um, amazing and beautiful projects that our uh, companies are putting together and showcasing out there. Everything you see on Mortar is native. So you aren't gonna see any banner ads or anything like that. Everything is coming directly from a company's profile. So. Um, I can click into any one of these and it would take me to that image, that project. I can learn more about that particular company. So that's one thing that I would just always like to point out that everything here you can trace back to what is that project and, and how did it come together. We have, you can see our main navigation at the top. You can browse the site. If you just want to look at pictures, you, you, you can go to inspiration. I'm going to click over there in a moment and show you how that works. That's where all the images feed together. Um, you can also browse by the type of company that you want to look for. So on um, Mortar, we classify, we put our companies really in two different categories. We call them pros or brands. So pros would be those providing the services, um, the architects, the engineers, the designers, the contractors, and then the brands would be that where those manufacturers live. So um, your building materials, your design or your um, furnishings and finishes and so on would fall into the brands category. And then you'll notice we have the search bar on the top of every page. And um, I'm just gonna show you how the search uh, actually works. I'll just search for, let's say, hotel lobby lighting. And um, you can see it breaks up my results into a few different um, categories, if you will. So one, I can just browse images. If I wanna just see the images on Mortar that match that search that I entered, I can click view more and it'll take me to that customized photo feed with my search results. Then you'll notice here, um, I can go through professionals. These would be the companies that are providing services related to my search. So these might be um, reps, uh, reps or dealers, or um, these could be uh, lighting design professionals. And then over here, brands, these are the actual manufacturers. So 
that's just an idea of how our search works. Um, and you'll see again that that's kind of embedded on each of the different pages as we go through the site. I think one thing to point out with that say is that as much as it's image driven, you know, we're that image search based engine for commercial design is that we also provide the information behind it. So, um, so I'm from the marketing side, we're always talking about how we have the info behind the inspo. So no matter where you go, whether you start in that inspiration tab, which I think you'll kind of go through here, Sadie, that mm -hmm. that information that you need for project completion or connecting with people um, is always attached to an image regardless of where you're at on the site. You've got it. I'd like to highlight something too, that it, not just what you just said, Jules, but also Sadie earlier. One of the things that really excites, um, you know, BIM Object about what you're doing, the way you're approaching this is you understand that, that not only do we have to get this designed and specified, uh, our manufacturers, we got to get their products purchased. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we've seen this a long way and not just purchased, but even beyond that in, in, in the, uh, you know, maintained and, and, and repaired and replaced. So that's really exciting that you guys have really understood that and help us, uh, you know, bring the, the rest of the industry to understand that it's, it is a single digital flow today mm -hmm. and, and we've got to be able to address it everywhere. Yep. Love it. Yep. Great. So that said, I, I moved over into our inspiration tab. So again, this is just our photo feed and you can see I have my search bar here. This is now specifically going to search the photos and then we have some filtering options. So if you knew what you, you know, coming in that you wanted to look at a specific uh, sector, um, again, you could kind of go with the hospitality and then I could find that lobby space. It's going to narrow down what I'm looking at and then we do have some product types and I can pick some specific product types. So that's if you have a, a, a idea of what you're looking for, you can filter again keyword search. Um, as you browse through here or you're delivered up results based on the search that you've put in, you can click into any one of these images. Here is one by our friends at Bison. So I love this project. I'm going to I'll click into this one and show you kind of how that looks, how you're able to actually find that technical information once you find a, a picture or an image that inspires you. So here on the right side, we're highlighting who posted, you know, who's, who's the company that's responsible for putting this picture and this project out there, sharing it with us. And this is a direct link right to Bison's profile. And then, um, you can see there's a little bit of a description about this image or about this project. And then also on the right side, project contributors. This is where um, our companies, as they're putting their projects out there, they can call out exactly who they worked with on that project. So in this case, Bison um, was brought in by BKV Group or they, or they worked with BKV Group on this project. Um, this can be on any level. So you might be tagging the contractor, you might be tagging some of the subcontractors, you might be tagging um, the, the, in this case, the architect, the designer, whoever it might be. And then this is going to always be a direct link over to that company's profile. And then here we've also indicated BIM object because we know that there are, um, there is a direct link to the content on BIM object from this project. And then when you're looking at the actual image, you can see these little white dots and these are our product tags. So Clicking over, click actually clicking on that white dot gives you more information about the product that you're seeing. And so in this case, um, you can see there's some, some more description. And then here is where that actual link to BIM object lives. I'm not going to click on it yet because I'm going to let Steve actually show you that in a few moments. Um, but then I'll just share what else you're finding within the same tag. This view more product information. This is actually going to take you um, to, this is another link. Um, I believe it probably goes right to Bison's site to some product details on their site. Um, you can download the specification directly here, but you're going to find even way more content once you get over to BIM object. And then this send a message. If you want to just send a message directly to Bison about this, you can fill your information in and send it directly from the image. So um, this is just some of the information that you can find in our tags. And then in this case, you can see here we're tagging um, the wood tiles that uh, Bison did in this project. And then, you know, Bison, we know they're responsible for those pedestals. So that's what is just the innovative part of the solution is that pedestal um, offering that maintenance free um, leveling products. So here is some information and that that pedestal itself, of course, has its own technical information. So you can link to both of them right from the 
this image. And again, I'll kind of turn that over to Steve in a few minutes and, and he'll show you how, where the rest of that information lives and how that works. Um, over here, I did notice there's also a tag on this window. So um, our users, our company users are able to tag anything within their own images. So here Bison of course is tagging their own products. Um, but then we also know from this project, this is actually a project that's on, um, was also worked on by St. Cloud Window, another subscriber of Mortar. So there's some information about that particular product. So our, one of our goals at Mortar is to give as complete of a picture as possible of a project and how it came together. So um, we want to highlight all of those cool products that were used and um, highlight all of that technical information that is required in order for um, for that to come to that to have come together um, both at like Steve said at the beginning of the project and building and then even in maintenance and getting them to the resources that they need on an ongoing basis for those products and then we also want to make sure that we're telling them you know maybe somebody came into this image because they were inspired um, by you know they were searching for St. Cloud window or they were searching for historic window renovation and windows associated with them and then they came across this um, this bison product that's what we want to do we want to bring them users who weren't necessarily looking for that in addition to the people who were we want to introduce them to these products so great Sadie briefly would you just go over some of the other options that you see when you're looking at this photo kind of that follow button and then the share and save in the bottom Sure, yes. So I'm right now logged into my own personal profile on Mortar. So um, our individual users, those of you, you know, we're, we've been looking at this company profile, but our individual users, anybody can register with a profile on Mortar. It's totally free and it's private. So when I am logged into my personal profile, I can follow a company. So I'll just um, give Bison a follow. And then I'll show you on my dashboard what that looks like, how I'm able to get back to that. And then of course I can, um, starring, that's just your basic liking, I can share an image right from Mortar and then save lets me save this image into my design room. Again, that's just a, that's, a, that's another one of our tools that we build into our personal profiles. So I'm gonna, I'll just save this and then I can also show you how I get back to that um, once I go over to my dashboard. So good question. Um, I do also just want to show you, I'm going to click over to this, um, the BIM object page. So this is where you can find, it, it, you know, if you're coming out here and you want to find, uh, um, obviously we have a lot of great content on Mortar and it would be great if every single um, product that you found on Mortar was linked directly to, to the BIM file on BIM object, but um, realistically we know that not, not all of them are, but here's where you can come out and you can find, you know, if you're searching, I just want to see the projects that include that information and that level of detail. Um, this page gives you some more, of course, some just general information about BIM object, links directly to them, um, their contact information, their, you know, their website, you can message BIM object directly through here, or get to their social channels. Um, and then down here, you can see these are all of the different projects that feature the direct connection to that BIM object um, link. So you can browse through and you can see these projects and find the products that are featured within these projects. And then some of the companies that we share, um, like Bison, um, that are, are um, featured on both of our platforms, you can get directly to their profiles from this page. So this actually really follows the, the format of all of our company pages. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and show you how that works. From there, I think I'll just show you back to our inspiration page. Um, Actually, from here, I think, Jules, I'll just skip over to pros. So you can give an idea of how this works. Um, pros, our pros page is where all of those companies that we classify as, again, those providing the services, they, this is just really a feed of those particular companies. Once you're in here, you can, um, you can just scroll, but then you can also filter. If you know specifically you're looking for an architect, um, and then maybe you even want to go by your location. I'm in Minnesota. Minnesota, and I know how to spell, all right. So I can just say, I wanna see architects in Minneapolis, and now I'm gonna find the, the architects that actually are in Minneapolis, and then I can access them, um, those profiles just by clicking in. Um, like I said, this really follows the same format that we looked at in the, um, in the BIM object page, and then the difference would be 
you, you know, the project gallery tab, and here's a preview of all the different projects that that company is featuring on their profile. Um, brands, again, these are our manufacturers, and same concept, you can just scroll through and then you can filter down too. So if you know specifically what type of product you're looking for, um, you can, apply your filter or even apply multiple filters and then you can scroll through and see which um, brands are being represented on mortars. So it's just another way to find um, find the companies and find the particular types of products or content that you might be looking for. And from here, I think I'll just navigate over to my uh, my personal profile again because I'm logged into my personal profile. You can see that up in the right corner up here. I'm just gonna by clicking on my name, I can see my menu of options, and um, you can see my 40 unread notifications that I leave in there because I know it bothers Jules, and it's become a joke now, so I can't clear them out. <laughs> uh, but those are those would be like an example of notifications because I have these design rooms, which I'll show you in a moment. And then um, other people I've invited are able to send, um, we're, we're able to chat in there. So here, when I land on my personal dashboard, this is where I can see those companies I'm following. So, you know, our users really vary, again, from everybody within that, that overall um, network and hierarchy of commercial projects. So, you know, everybody from the, the companies and the people who work for those companies to the the consumer side of it, the business owners. Um, so everybody really has kind of a different purpose when they're out on mortar. Maybe they're really just looking, they're looking for inspiration for a project, or maybe they have their project well underway and they need a really specific product. So everybody uses it a little bit differently, which is awesome. And then your dashboard is where your personal experience lives. So these are all those companies that I've opted to follow and I can follow companies for what, you know, whatever reason suits me. Um, if you do view all, it takes you to even more. These are just direct links to those profiles. Recently added, I can see what, you know, what are those companies up to? What projects have they recently put in? And then any images that I've starred along the way, I have a feed of those as well. And then over here, I'll click to my design rooms tab. And this is where I can see what I've saved. So these are really our boards. I won't go into it in great detail, but you can see um, anything I've saved in here it retains its data. I can invite other people to chat and collaborate with me. And um, just by clicking into a link, I can see like those tags, they still live within there. So that's really our, um, our dashboard, our design rooms. Um, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on that. I actually think what I'll do is, um, Jules, unless there's anything you'd wanna add, you wanna add, I think we could just turn it over to Steve at this point. Yeah, no, um, I think that'd be great. Steve, you want to take over and um, show them kind of the rest of that process between the... the I will work. grab the screen. Uh, yes. And uh, you mentioned earlier, we're not working in the same room. We're not even in the same state or same time zones today. And <laughs> probably pretty familiar in this day and age with, with most everyone on, on the call. So bear with us as we shift over here a little bit. So hopefully you can see my screen now with the... Uh, I've, I've come to, to Mortar. Yep, we can see okay, it. Great. So anyway, um, yeah, it's asked since I'm not logged in, it's asking me to log in, which I will do. Go right below there to the login button. Yes. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> uh, real time. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were just saying like it's become now the norm to have any level of technical difficulties or background noise. I just moved my dogs out of the room that I'm in so that hopefully you don't hear any snoring in the background or <laughs> snorting. But yep. this is the one thing about this working from home is everybody's kind of getting on the same wavelength with yeah. their technology and their technology struggles. <laughs> so we're, we're showcasing Bison, but it, uh, since I, I logged in and we do have uh, the BIM object page, it brought me right to that. But um, what I wanna do is, is uh, give you um, some insight into our mutual partner here. And uh, today we're featuring Bison. They've done a great job on both platforms, I think, of leveraging, you know, what we're able to provide uh, for you. And uh, the thing about uh, BIM object, what we are really provide in, in the most basic sense are digital Legos. We're, we're providing parts for people to um, designers, uh, engineers, uh, whoever need, needs it for creating that, that digital twin, digital model. You've heard a lot of these new words today. I'm not going to go into those mm -hmm. specific things, but um, 
anyway bison's we'll just search all so we'll go right to their brand bring up the bison page one of my thing one that i think is pretty cool and this is uh she said we can't go to these rooftop bars but we can virtually go to them so i'm going to take you out <laughs> let's you guys, right now <laughs> i'm buying i'm buying today at the <laughs> bar all right so, and and you better get that recorded because it's probably the last time you'll ever hear that <laughs> anyway uh as Sadie's done a great job explaining how to get here or anywhere else you want to. Uh, my main focus here is to show you a, a couple of what happens once you get here and you click into uh, viewing the, the BIM objects. So uh, we've got a couple of them that we're going to look at. So I clicked on it and it brought me immediately to the, the, what we call a product page uh, that, that is relative to the item that was tagged. So in this case, it's the the Bison uh, VersaJust deck support pedestals, which as, as uh, Mark pointed out, is one of their, their, their key products, their, their key focus. And, and most of our product pages are the same. Uh, Bison's done a great job in populating it. Um, some manufacturers still are, are working to get some of the, the content in here, because uh, as we transition from drawing days to digital modeling days, it, it requires a different set of, of content and information. Um, so there's a little gallery here. You can use the buttons back and forth, but that gallery really is just, uh, 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 you know, a few pieces, nothing like what you've already seen coming from mortar. You know, you've really seen the products in their actual environment, which is a, a, a great deal. Um, each of these tabs along the bottom have different information, uh, somewhat the technical so forth. Links often go back to the manufacturer's site for installation instructions and other certifications that you may need uh, to make a choice or even to maintain the, the product. Um, these are just related categories. You know, it's polypropylene because in, in our uh, big search engines, people are looking sometimes they'll, they'll try to filter down by certain materials uh, for, uh, for lead or, or, or other aspects. Uh, in, in this case, uh, Bison is uh, using the CSI master formats. They also have the IFC classification. Uh, and in the BIM object category, again, that's, that's a kind of a general category we use over on our search page that uh, kind of groups things together. Since we are a global company, we do offer uh, many classifications in case uh, manufacturers uh, are actually working in the UK and, and other places. And even some of the US now are requiring like Omniclass and things like that. So that's the beautiful thing that uh, when, when as, as standards evolve, as, as requirements evolve, for content and, and the information you need about a building product, it, it grows with them on the BIMOGIC platform and provides that. Uh, what regions is it available in? Uh, this, this, obviously they're, they're pretty well a global organization. Uh, it shows where, where they can be purchased. And then the property sets, this is a little different. Um, what this is, is we have another partnership with AEC Daily. So there's education relative to maybe rooftop systems it'll be populated in here for AEC Daily as well. Um, the, the mortar link, th this would take you back if you came across this on this particular product page and you were just out on BIM object, uh, if you go to the property sets and they're a partner uh, and they're also on, on mortar, this would take you right to where those are highlighted on, on the mortar page. And then the real meat, the reason a lot of people come here is the downloads. Uh, and again, Bison is, uh, really trying to address the complete industry and they've they've gone to um, the detail of creating numerous file types file formats they want to get the the content and and the the data into every person's um, package software package whatever the the system is that you're using to develop if it's revit if it's autocad if it's sketchup uh we, we see the a lot of downloads used you know, different aspects, uh, different design phases, different uh, phases of the project are using different types of content sometimes. So uh, they've done a great job here. One of the key things that you need to understand though is on the, on the BIMOGIC platform, you, do, you can go out and browse as we've done. We've looked at everything on this page. Uh, until you go to download, you have to be then registered or you know, signed in. So I'll, I'll click the sign in and, and register. which I rarely do, <laughs> um, but I, I did this on purpose for showing you folks because you will have to actually be signed in. Uh, usually mine's already all saved and ready to go. 
The trick is always remembering your password, Steve. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. <laughs> I love it when it comes to ah, look at that. Boom, first time. <laughs> I was just gonna say right, we win today, I guys. Win. <laughs> uh anyway, so now that I've uh done this, I can pick any of the these these that I, I, I care to download and um and and bring them in and, and use them in my tool sets. You know, whether it's a PDF, it'll it'll just say you want to save it as as that uh, Revit. Um It'll, it'll bring it just into the uh, download file to save it. So anyway, those are the keys of the first page you'll come to. Now, if you wanna find more additional information out um, and about the, the other products that Bison may have, uh, you, can, you can click the back. I'm not gonna do it yet here. Uh, let's go back and I'll just pick this other product to show you another one of their really, really, they've done a great job on uh, presenting, you know, their content on our platform. Uh, so this is the tiles that set on those, uh, those, those adjustable stands, same sort of information. Uh, but it, you know, it's, it's, uh, got, you know, a few examples there. And, uh, I think most of you know, on, on this call that, that a lot of times in, in these little tiles on our platform, you won't see every possible color, but you can see those in the materials and textures files. Uh, there may be 50, uh, different colors, there could be different configurations, different sizes. We've had that question before. Oh, Steve, we don't, you know, you're only showing me the two by two tiles. Well, you know, a parametric content allows us to include in a single file for many of the file types, so two, two foot by two foot, two foot by four foot, different sizes and different colors and, and finishes. So uh, don't, don't feel like we, we don't have their, their full offering uh, on here. As I started to allude to a minute ago, you can click the, the mortar BIM object header here and it'll take you to a page that uh, lists all of the content that is common to both platforms. So if you want to see what Bison has, just click the brands drop down and click on Bison Innovative Products. And these will be all the products on there. So you could actually click on one of these and it would take you through the, um, I'm doing this without a parachute. Uh, it'll take you, if you want to see where those those planters are out back out on mortar, you can click it and it'll bring you to the, the planters. So you can see multiple ways that their products are featured. So it's a seamless experience. It goes from the design, from conception, all the way through really maintenance. Um, again, you you got to be logged in. Um, it's got the filters. If you're back here on on uh, want to look for certain product types on on the the common um, I got rid of it. Here we go. Filters, but however you want to look for, for different uh, types of, of products. So that are common to both. With that, unless you guys know something I missed, I <laughs> believe I'll turn it back over to, to you. Yeah, no problem. I don't, that might've been a trick if there's something that I know that you don't, but <laughs> I don't think. Um, much, I don't well, know much, what's the favor you're looking for? I don't think that's, I don't think that's uh, possible. Um, so yeah, how are we doing? A question, Jules, do we have any questions? Or I mean, I think if we, yeah, we can absolutely open that up. I I think one of the things that you know Steve talked about that's so important is he said you have to be logged in. But what's so cool about both of these platforms is that um this is a free tool for every single individual there's you know yeah. we don't lock anyone out we don't vet you know we don't make you go through an fbi interview process we just want this to be a tool that um anyone can use to help yourself your team um as well as your clients so um yeah i think i'm gonna let me take over the screen here sadie and then if anyone has any questions feel free to add those into the q a um, I would like to check in, Mark, I don't know if you're, you're still on, get your microphone on. Yeah. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I want to add that, that I might have missed uh, in terms of your products on our, on the BIMOGIC platform. Is there? Well, I'm not, I mean, I think you did a really great job of summarizing everything. And I appreciate it. If you don't mind going back to the page that shows all of our products, um, I'm more than happy to, if, if we think it would be beneficial to the audience, to go over each product really quickly. I, I, won't, I won't belabor the points, but Sadie, I just want to wanna, make sure that everybody knows our, our full offerings. Sadie, you yeah. want to do that or you want me to? Go ahead. If you, if want. you just want to take the share back, because do you sure. still have it up there, Steve? 
I can do that. Yeah. yeah. We just see we're getting really good at passing this share back and forth. This is <laughs> all the way stuff. from uh, Burbank <laughs> to Minnesota. Yes. Minnesota, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ta da. All right. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Sure thing, Mark. So, I was just going to go from left to right and go over our products really, really quickly because sometimes there's a little uh, confusion, and uh, I just want to be sure to clarify. Um, the, f the first product is our bison paver tray. That is a uh, tray that's designed specifically to go under a 2CM porcelain tile. And most people know that there are lots of 2CM porcelain tiles in the industry right now. And um, it's, we are offering our customers to use whatever 2CM porcelain tile they want. We make this tray with a peel and stick butyl backing. And it's meant to go on the tray and, or on the bottom of, the, of the, uh, the porcelain tile. And then the benefit is that it offers breakthrough protection in the event that that tile would happen to crack and it's up on pedestals, but the biggest benefit is the fact that you can then tie that tray and paver assembly, once they're adhered, you can tie the tray paver assembly to the pedestal with our patented fastening kit. That gives a wind uplift rating. And this is for the people in the audience who are more technical and really need to know more about, so we have full wind uplift ratings on all of our products. And that is something that um, really, that we see that only Bison, offers in the industry because it's all third-party testing and it's actually the most comprehensive wind testing in the world uh so yes yeah, so if you could go to the planters yeah. next real quick steve yeah that'd be great saying, you want me to go in order or you want to pick yeah if order? we just go in order it'll be easier yeah, I, th I i think um and i'll be really quick with the with the planters i just wanted to mention that we do make the standard size planters to match the standard size of our tiles so that's a two by two two by four and two by six format uh, but we also do a lot of custom planters. So basically any size or shape that you want, um, you just tell us and we are happy to make custom planters. There is a bit of a lead time on the planters. It's not huge, um, generally around four weeks, but we, um, we really like to work with our customers to get them what they need for their specific design because we understand that custom is important. Uh, the aluminum trays are just kind of a, we won't even go, need to go to that, Steve, or maybe for a second, it's fine. Um, the aluminum trays are just kind of an add-on to the planters. It's just a, a shorter planter if you wanted to put, uh, it's like a rock tray. If you wanted to have rocks up on pedestals, this tray holds those rocks in place. Um, the pedestals, we already went over briefly, but let's just take another quick look. I always like to point out with regard to the pedestals that we can offer any size pedestal from one-eighth of an inch all the way up to three feet in height. Um, they have levelers attached to the bottom of them so they can be leveled in the field quite easily. And the pedestals, the, the portion of the pedestals, that's our, I call that our core competency and really the core part of our business. And we are there for you and for your customer to really help them determine exactly the quantity of pedestals and the height of the pedestals that they need. So we work, we'll work hard with you on the front end if you'd like to know exactly what our pedestals can do, but also with the, um, when it comes time for the installer to purchase, we are helping them figure out and we provide the installer with a color-coded plan of exactly where every pedestal goes on the plan or on, on the job. And, and then we provide, then the, the color coding is matched to the color coding on the boxes. So we try to make it easy. Um, let's, we don't need to look at the um, cube top. The cube tops are just toppers that go on top of the planter to turn them into benches. And um, let's, let's just go all the way to the right, to the, to the wood tiles. And I know Steve mentioned this already, but we do standard wood tiles in two by two, two by four, two by six, and two by eight, as well as one of our newer offerings is a 30 inch by 30 inch tile. But we also do a whole myriad of custom wood tiles as well. So if you feel like you need custom wood tiles, we're happy to have that conversation. If you want to put on, put concrete pavers, natural stone, um, any sort of 2CM porcelain product, not a problem at all. We will work with you with whatever material you want to put on top of our pedestal system. We just want to make sure you know that we have a few offerings for the, um, for the finished surface as well. And that's really it. That's my spiel. And I appreciate everybody listening. Great. Good job. Thanks. Love that. Um, 
we do have a great question from um, one of our viewers. With COVID-19, AIA has been discussing about possible impacts on product spec specifications in general. Has there been any discussion um, happening regarding this subject? So I'm curious if Steve and or Mark, if you guys have heard anything about this, if you, if you have any insights for Gloria um, on, on that topic. Um, can you please expand on that? Yeah, Gar yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I understand as well. Sure. Let me see what. Yeah, and I'm wondering if, she, yeah, if there's anything with any, if there's any reason that any products can't be specified or if there's any delays. Oh, I see. I see. So if, obviously, I, I, with not having full workforces and, um, yeah. Exactly. Sure. That's what I'm guessing, but Gloria, please speak up if that. Yeah, Gloria, if you want to send type up, me type up rather. <laughs> uh, changes in materials regarding the virus oh. reaction. So more of a surface, you know, surface question, if, if anything. Oh, so you're you're wondering if one material is better um, with regard to, to COVID than another? Is that is that correct? If, yeah, just if they're if they're yes, yep, she said yes, and then if there's product specifications that will change because of because of COVID, if there's anything that you guys have heard. So, or... I haven't heard any product specifications, but I did read an article a couple of days ago. Um, uh, ICC, the International Code Council, has, um, you know, they're, they're actually considering some things that might have some impact and, you know, be in compliance. I'm not sure what it would be. I just saw an article, I believe it was the National Association of Home Builders that had put it out because there was some question about them delaying the output of the next version of the ICC, the new code, to see if they needed to address this or not. So, all that to say that I don't know of anything specific that has been done, but I, that's the only conversation that I've seen relative to the actual material products changing or not. Sure. Yeah. And we, we haven't heard anything about having to change our products in any way at this time. Um, with regard to stocking, we're still manufacturing and stocking our products. Um, so we, and we make everything in, in the U S um, so we still have a, a lot of product if that's, if that is the question, but I have a feeling it's more of a broad question if certain products are off limits or not because of COVID. I haven't heard anything with regard to our products at this point. Um, I do know people that work for the well building standard and I know that well is working very hard and I'm not trying to just plug well. I know they're, they're working hard to come up with some more stringent uh, standards about how their buildings are managed, but I'm not sure if they are reviewing um, every specific product that goes into a building yet. I imagine that that's going to be on the table quite yeah, soon. I would, I would second your, your point, Mark. It's, it's not meant the specific products as much as practices uh, that they're mm -hmm. looking at. You know, indoor air quality is their, their big thing. And how can, they, how, how can they mitigate potential spread of anything? You know, and, and sure. I think that's going to be looked at a little more um, intensely than it has in the past. Yeah, exactly. Great question. Thank you, Gloria. Um, any other questions, Jules? Uh, we had one in regards to mortar design rooms. Sadie, do you have control of the screen right now? I think it's back. I, yep, I think I have my screen up. Yeah. Um, so just help me understand the mortar design rooms. Can I use this for project management? I think that's a great, um, oh, yeah. great question to go over. If you want to head to your dashboard and just walk through those a little bit. Yep, definitely. And then, um, yeah, I'll just do a, I'll, I'll give you a real quick view or a quick look at these. So design rooms on your personal profile, you are able to have an unlimited number of these design rooms. And um, within them, you can store image, images or PDF documents and really in an unlimited amount of them. Um, and think of these as boards essentially, um, but you are able to invite other people and collaborate with them. So um, you can see I have a I have a whole bunch of design rooms and there's some that I own that I've invited other people to. There's some that other people own that they've invited me to. Um, mine are all for demo purposes. They're not real, <laughs> not real projects. Um, but within them, you can just invite people by email. And so I can invite, you know, whether it's my client, whether it's a, a maybe I'm a sale, I work in sales and I'm just putting a, I'm, a, you know, putting a, a group of images together and some information together for a prospect or a group of prospects. I can just invite them here. I can um, attach, uh, you can see, we can have comment, a comment within, or a, excuse me, a conversation within e any of these images. I mentioned earlier, they read the images from Mortar. They retain the data that was um, that was attached to it when I saved it in here. 
but I also can add images from outside of mortars. So um, here, you know, we've got a rendering, we've got a drawing, you know, you can add a PDF, whatever it might be. And then you also can have a conversation on an overall design room level. So maybe your chat isn't about one specific image, it's about the subject of that, whatever you've called for that design room. Um, you can you chat on a room level. So people use these from anything as broad as I'm, you know, sharing or saving all of the things that are inspiring me for this next project to like a digital pinup board to really specific project management. So maybe it's, um, you know, about the a really specific part of a project even um, and maybe you have different design rooms for one project based on who you would potentially be having conversations with um, so maybe you know it's outside partners clients um, people from within your own internal team so it's just yet another way to get these conversations out of your email um, and especially when you're sharing files you're sharing documents and images back and forth it's an easy way to um, group that together so you have a visual along with it would you, oh, sorry, oh, Sadie, would you ahead. just go into presentation mode to show, I know that oh, we've sure. had sales teams and um, educators as well using mortar design rooms, um, both in the classroom and for sales presentations. So if mm -hmm. you wanted to share what that would look like. Um, yep, you can just go to export and I can go into, um, like Jill said, I have a presentation mode. I can do it with or without comments. And then I can just, I'm able to just, um, toggle through. And so, yeah, again, we see people, like you said, our mortar in the classroom initiative, um, the, a lot of the architectural and design students have used these. Um, and then. Wow. Uh, wow. I didn't know about that. This is cool. Thank these you. are my friends. These are <laughs> when, Steve, when you hear snoring in the background, that these are the ones responsible for it. So yeah, a nice cover. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's our, and we have, um, so as part of our working from home series, we do, we did actually just last week, we highlighted design rooms. So if you wanna see more about that, uh, we can share that with everybody, um, the, the link to where that recorded version is at. And then we're just continuously, again, through this working from home series, continuously highlighting the different features and functions and little tools that you can find on Mortar, so. Absolutely, and I will, you know what, Sadie, I'm gonna link, I'm gonna put the link into the chat um, option here. And then I will also just include that um, for the webinars for the past, um, past conversations we've been having about the different tools on Mortar um, and our different integrations. I will link that in the follow-up email that you all will receive with this recording as well for anyone that's interested in, in diving into those a little bit more. Great. Um, any other questions? Are we good, Jules? I'm gonna wrap up here. Uh, this is this is Mark. May I, am I allowed to make one more comment? You sure are. You, okay, just, you haven't seen your little microphone turn red yet, have you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to. I don't want to over talk my welcome. No, nope, um, I just wanted to mention to anybody on this call: if you ever need a lunch presentation, we are happy to accommodate. So we we are we are we have something that we can we can set up virtually. Um, I know a lot of architects still want to have some lunch presentations in there. AIA and ASLA um, CEU accredited. So um, we're happy to accommodate however you want. We answer our phones. So feel free to call us directly if you would like. And um, once again, thanks for your time. Awesome. And thanks again to Mark for being on the call. We greatly appreciate it. And then um, to Steve and everybody at BIM Object, thanks for um, helping uh, join uh, for joining us today and helping us through the presentation. It's just Absolutely. been great to Hope connect. it's first of many. This is great because it's, it's it's a real benefit to I think uh, the, the industry. So totally agree. Yes. So um, really, in closing, what I just want to say is um, like we've made it really clear. You know, use these tools. They're free. They're for anyone. Um, it doesn't matter where you are, where you fall in that network. Um, just if you need the if you need any of these digital resources, they're there for you. And then um, looking ahead for us at Mortar, uh, we're continuously working on developing our site in ways that suit you, you are the ones we care the most about. So we always want your feedback. Um, you have our contact information on the screen here. Please use that, email us anytime, um, connect with us directly on the site. Please give us your feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see more of. And um, we're continuously, again, adding, adding functionality, adding features. 
and more importantly, adding content. So we have new companies joining our site every day, which is awesome. And so that content just continues to grow. And at, with those new subscribers and even with our current companies that are out there, we're continuously focused on adding more of those tags and more of those technical details to the projects that are out there to just make this um, overall more, more useful for our audience and more of a resource, um, like Steve has said, um, and, and even um, Mark has commented on really from the inception to the completion and then even the ongoing use of these facilities that, that you guys are working on. So yeah. any other manufacturers that are on, um, my email address is on the screen right now. Reach out to me and I'll connect you with the right people that uh, can, can help you, uh, you know, develop your, your content and, and products for the Magic platform if you're interested. As well, um, I know you, you're going to talk a little bit about your upcoming webinars. We, Anybody, if you're registered on BIM Object, uh, even if, if you're not interested in being, uh, you know, if you're not a manufacturer that's interested on being on BIM Object, just as a, a, a user, an architect, designer, uh, whatever your role is, uh, if you, once you register on BIM Object as a user, uh, then, which is free, as Sadie pointed out, uh, you'll be getting invites to our uh, webcast series. Uh, we've got one launching in, in May that'll be coming up. So that, that way you can stay in touch and hear about these things as well. Agreed. Yes, absolutely. And thanks for pointing that out, Steve. We do. So next week, um, not, I was going to say same time, but not the same time. So next Thursday, 11 a.m. Um, Central, if you want to hop back on, Sadie and um, one of our other team members, Donnie Lowe, are going to be walking through what it looks like for a company to showcase on Mortar. Um, for some of you, that may apply. For others, it, um, well, I think for everyone, it applies. But, you know, it's important to note that you, you can be on mortar as an individual, even before your company is on. We'd love to have, um, of course, both, both yeah, yeah. join us, um, but really just walking through how to build that digital pipeline um, mm -hmm. and, and making mortar that digital trade show um, now with everything going on. So that is next week um, and we will have a registration link for that in your follow up email as well. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks again, everybody. We appreciate your time and um, that you decided to spend this, that, this time with us today. And we hope everybody stays very well and is able to continue working. And um, yeah, thanks again. Thank you to everybody.